Um, Alright, so this is, I wanted to go through how to use an older calculator, such as a TI-83, to do a chi-squared goodness of fit test, um, because your older calculator doesn't have that as an option in the stat test menu. So right now I have my observed values in L1 and my expected values in L2. This is for the m, &M example we did in class. These are numbers I made up. Um, so if I had a newer calculator, an 84 or newer, I could go to stat tests and then towards the bottom of the list there would be an option that said chi-squared GOF test. This is just regular chi-squared tests which won't work for goodness of fit. It's only for the other two types of chi-squared tests that we're going to learn next class. So I'm kind of stuck. Um, I have to kind of do it the long way. But I wanted to show you kind of some tricks in your calculator to get the calculator to do that for you without you having to kind of work tediously through this long formula. So I have my observed in L1, my expected in L2. I'm going to go over to L3 and go up and highlight L3. I'm basically going to enter the equation for chi-squared. So this guy right here, um, I'm going to enter that into my calculator. So I have um, observed. So my observed values are in L1. So I'm going to put parentheses and then second one. So L1 is going to take the observed value minus, and then it's expected, my expected values are in L2, so second 2, close parentheses, square it, because that's what I'm doing, observed minus expected squared, divided by, and then expected again, so I'm going to do second 2, so it's going to take the observed value, subtract the expected value, square that difference, and then divide by expected, and it's going to do that for every single row in my list of data, so when I push enter, with calculating that formula for each one of my six observations or my six different categories. So the last step would be the summation part of the formula. So I could write all these numbers down on my paper and then go back and add them together, but my calculator also has a sum feature that will do that for me as well. So I'm going to do second quit or mode to get back to the home screen. And then where the sum feature is found is second stat math and it's under there. If you ever forget where something is in your calculator, you know there's a sum feature but you don't remember where it is. Remember you always have the option of going to second zero which is your catalog and you can just look through every single option that's in your calculator. You can skip down to the S's. Where's the S button? P Q R S. I can skip down to the S's and kind of do and find some in there. So if you ever forget where something is, that is an option. It's obviously going to take you a little longer, but if you forget where it is in the menu, you can do that. So I have some, um, and then I'm going to do second three, because I want the sum of L3. Push enter, and then that is my chi-squared value, and it's the same chi-squared value I would get if I had done um, the chi-squared GOF test on a newer calculator. And then the other thing is that, actually, you know what, I'm going to save that for the next video. So I'll do another little video on how to use the table because everyone needs to know how to use the table.